Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be reviewing my the iPhone 6 Plus, and no, I'm not getting paid or anything for this. I'm just telling you my complete honest opinion about it. So yeah, let's just get started. So I have a turquoise base, and it has like sparkles. You can't really see it from here. I didn't even notice it until like the third day I got it, but it has like sparkles on it. And yeah, but I have the black one. So, I just, I don't really personally like the space gray, but I do like the black, the, like the front of it. But, um, I had the, I've had the 4, the 5, the 5S, and now the 6 Plus. So, between the 5, I just got the 5S, but then I got the 6 Plus because my husband needed a new phone. But anyway, so... Between the 5S and the 6 Plus, there's not that much of a difference, but it's definitely a lot bigger. So if you're like one of those people that likes using one hand for your phone, you the iPhone 6 Plus probably isn't for you unless you're like a male. Like men's hands are usually bigger. So like my husband, he can type like with one hand, but it's really difficult for me. So a lot of times I like hold it with two hands. So that's one inconvenient thing. And also another thing is... Um, it doesn't really fit in my pocket very well, so if you like um, being able to keep your phone in your pocket, then I would probably get the 6. But I just really wanted something different. And like, I don't know, I just wanted it to feel like a new phone. So that's why I got the 6 Plus. And also, the, another thing that's not very good about it is it's $100 extra to get the bigger one. So, but I kind of like it because... It kind of reminds me of like a tablet or something in a way. I know it's not like as big as a tablet, but I just, I like how big it is. But that's just my opinion. Um, one thing I don't like is for some reason it like freezes for no reason and it turns off on me and restarts. And I don't know if that's just my phone or other people are having the same problem, but it's kind of annoying because you think that if you bought a brand new phone that it would work good, but... Sometimes it doesn't work very well. And also, one thing I don't like about having the black is, like, the speaker. You can't really see it from here, but you can kind of see it. It gets really dirty. And I saw how to clean it, but I haven't tried yet. But that's, like, really, that's one um, annoying thing is that it gets, well, a few annoying things that I'm telling you about. But, yeah, other than that, I really like it. And I like, like, I like how it's like thinner. The case makes it a little bit more bulky, but not really. But I think they need to make it a little more sturdy because my husband dropped it and like only one time dropping it. And you can't really see it from here because of the camera, but it has like a little nick in it. And I don't think it should do that after only dropping it once. So, but other than that, it pretty much feels like the 5S. It has the fingerprint and all that. But if I were you, I'd definitely upgrade if you have the upgrade. If you have the option to upgrade right now, I would. But it's really up to you. And, you know, this was actually the first one that, um, when I got it, it was the first one that Target had. They didn't, I feel like a lot of places don't really have the 6 Plus and it's harder to find. But it was the first one they had and it just happened to be space gray, which was good because I really wanted a black one. Because I feel like black, when you're watching videos, if you go on to like YouTube, hold on, let me put that in here. I don't know what video to put. I'll just put one of my videos on. But, um, like, it's just like, whoa. I just feel like it kind of like, when the when you have the white, it's like, kind of distracting so I just think it looks a lot more like sleek like if you get the black but you know of course the color is up to you in this case I actually got Amazon and it was only like seven dollars so if you're looking for cases I would definitely recommend Amazon or Best Buy they actually surprisingly have pretty cheap cases I got one for like 15 but I would definitely recommend getting a case that covers the bottom like this because I had a case that it, like a lot I noticed a lot of the cases which one it's another thing I don't like is the bottom a lot of the cases isn't covered 
So it does like that's how my phone got messed up when it got the nick in it when my husband dropped it. So I would definitely try to find a case like this covered. It is a lot it is harder to find though, but it's definitely worth getting that and I'm hoping that they get the life proof cases soon because I definitely want to feel like my phone's protecting being protected because I had the five but I dropped it on the concrete and cracked. So it wasn't very nice. So I had to get a new one because I just it was too distracting having broken glass everywhere. But yeah, I hope this helped you if you weren't sure about the iPhone 6 or the 6 Plus or if you should upgrade. I hope this helped you out a little bit and if you needed if you were trying to debate or if you were trying to decide on what color you wanted to get. Hopefully I helped y'all out a little bit. And yeah, so just comment below. I um comment below if you have the iPhone 6 or <laughs>